That's a good eye, Vicky. I didn't even realize that. Well, you might not have your Zoom in the same display that I do. Well, seems they're not going to unmute and tell us so. Oh, well, everyone's welcome anyway, as long as they're not a jerk. Oh, good. There's Kate. All right. I will share my screen with the notes and we can I'll put this in the chat. Everyone can follow along at home. All right, thank you everyone for, for attending. I will apologize in advance. I am super out of the loop and have not even looked at any of this stuff in two weeks. I caught COVID immediately after the last meeting. And so I've been not well, we'll say, for a while. But uh, if you look at the notes document, there's a sign in over on the tools. For anyone kind of new or, or just as a refresher, this is a weird group because there's the tools working group. And then this is SBOM everywhere SIG that happens kind of at the same time, just because the tools working group has very little happening right now outside of this. So we're hijacking the meeting for the moment, which is why I have this very confusing setup of signing in on the tools working group, but then taking notes in SBOM everywhere. And so if anyone is here for the tools working group, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but all right. Uh, let me look at the chat and I apologize. I'm very slow still. So if anyone has questions or comments or I'm, I'm not making sense, just speak up. It's, it's quite all right. Uh, all right, let's start at the top and we'll kind of work our way down. Oh, I, I guess one other thing we did last time, two weeks ago, there were, it was during the, the Dublin summit, or I forget what, what the name of the event was, but many, many people were gone. And so we, we worked our way through this document here, which is kind of starting to lay out in more detail some of the goals and purpose, which is from the mobilization plan. And this is also kind of covered in um, issue 12 here, but we'll get to that later. So uh, Kate, you're at the top of the list. What's going on with the Python library funding? Was Kate here? I thought I saw Kate. Maybe I. I saw her uh, sign into the text. Did she? You know, she's here. She's muted. <laughs> Kate got on mute. Thank you for doing that unmuting for me. I'm trying to find the window and I'm failing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just need, uh, like 10 screens, it'll be fine. Yeah, that's that's a problem. As I started signing things in and then lost where the the, the show was, everything was displaying. Um, side note, um, I also picked up COVID oh. and I'm recovering from it as well. So um, again, please appro apply appropriate caveats <laughs> for um, brain issues. Now, that being said, <laughs> There has actually been progress. So um, the Python library funding has been approved. It has been started and the contract's been started uh, with uh, the TNG group. Um, they are going to be starting their community um, meetings on August 15th, sorry, not August, sorry, October 15th, so in the middle of the month. 
So anyone who is specifically interested, um, as soon as the meetings start, I will post the information on our Slack channel and people who want to attend can be there, uh, can join in there. Um, but they've been working pretty much to the plan that was articulated um, when we you know, set things up. So they've been doing the survey and have been looking at, okay, starting to get the test infrastructure in place as well as the cleanup. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Uh, good. Yeah. And the, the goal is to, you know, build this up as a so the community is interacting and working with the test suites as we get the, you know, the two, three uh, tooling available for people. Um, can, can I ask one other question, Kate? How is sure. the 3.0 timeline? What does that look like? <sighs> for, I, I should clarify for everyone, SPDX 3.0. SPDX 3.0. So I think the model, I have not been on the last two meetings for courtesy of travel and COVID. Um, I'm hoping to be there today. The model is looking pretty much, the core model is pretty close at this point in time. I think most of the uh, the grumbles have all been, so we've, I think, I, I think to a certain degree, harmonization has been achieved. Um, the first serialization is likely to be a JSON serialization and we'll have that visible. So they'll probably take a 3.0, um, you know, RC candidate on the 3.0 model. And then from that, we'll start the serializations. And then um, as people start to work with the serializations, we'll add the profiles in. So as soon as we've got the serialization sort of stabilized, um, there are two profiles that are must-haves, which is the security and the uh, licensing. So we don't go back in capability. And then which other other profiles are ready at that time will also be included. Is and this so weeks or months? Months still, I'm afraid. Months, okay, that's fine. I was just curious. Yep, that's, that's okay fine. though too, because obviously the contractors aren't adding 3.0 to the Python library. And Correct. so yeah. they'll get it in shape and then 3.0 gets added. So that's great. That's, 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 the, that's how we're trying to structure this, yes. Awesome. Are, are, are we expecting massive changes related to the Python library for, for SPDX? Because <laughs> I'm guessing not, but well, that's a guess. Yeah, it's a guess. Um, the underlying data model is changing, and this should not impact a lot of the serializations, which is what is being implemented. Uh, like I say, we're trying to keep the field changes down to a minimum. There's people who keep on wanting to rename things on us, but to the most part, there's enough pushback to give us a really, really, really good reason. And just because you like a name better is not a good reason. Right. Okay. Um, because there is a migration cost and change associated with it. So a lot of the fields we've got today will be persisting. The deprecated ones will go away finally, um, but they haven't been used for hopefully a release now, or a couple of releases now. So, and then the new stuff that's been added will probably be, will be persisting. So, I think it's it should be incremental, um, but how, what the implications are of the underlying data model is what I can't judge yet. Okay, cool. That's hey, David. Can you do me a favor? I just realized you're taking notes in the future agenda items section. Can you move that down into? Oh, the, that's all right. The, the, oh. My screen kept changing. I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> All righty. Yes, I'm in the good. wrong place. Okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. No All right. I got to figure out. I got to now I have to figure out how to move that, but uh, it, it, uh, I'll do that. All right. Uh, Kate, you've got the next one up as long as we've got you here. Uh, yep. And so I have a hand up, Dan. All right. So, so here's what, here's, on... sorry, Kate, let me lay your up for one second. Dan has his hand up. So here's, here's how we're doing this. Uh, the last two meetings ago was just completely off the rails, so I'm happy to accept clarifying questions, but I don't want us to be like suggesting a bunch of new work or something. Please do that on the mailing list. So Dan, what is Got your it. Absolutely. It was a clarifying question. I just wanted to know, is there a link where I can, so, uh, a dumb question possibly, but is there a link where I can read more about the SPDX 3.0 harmonization efforts? Sorry. Uh, can you like send that to me or strip it into the mi mi minutes somehow? Um, the best way to understand what's happening with SPDX 3.0 is join their meetings uh, at this point okay. in time. Okay. okay. Can, can, okay. can someone put a link in the notes for how to accomplish that? Because like, I don't know either. Thank you. Yep, I can do that. Thanks, I'll, I'll, I'll put that in, no problem. All I right. should uh, um, 
it's it's too much of a moving target. It's better to if you really care about the details of first hand, is to go is to be in the meetings. I think in the meetings. Let's directly oh. follow this meeting, actually. Oh, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, the next step is the SPOM one-page overview, which uh, you put together, Kate. Yeah. Um, I forget where that was. You have a document. It's not in the GitHub issue, though. Is it there is a Google document where people were starting to comment on it. Um, I need to basically call anyone who wants to weigh in on it into a meeting together to have a smaller meeting but with the okay. covid and travel i was not able to do it between now and then i me. i totally get it i'm just going to add a link to the, the draft yep. here yeah so anyone who wants to be invited into that um make sure i've got your email send me email or put your email in the document say please include me in this discussion um there's starting points that were there came from the ntia efforts from before and so it was an extension of that. So there's been a lot of thought behind some of these things too. On the other hand, if there's you know factors that are not being considered, let's have the discussion in a public way and make sure we can build ourselves to some sort of consensus. And I, I do have one ask for you, Kate, okay. as well. If we look, I think it's this link. Yeah, this is this is some of the things the Apache Software Foundation is is kind of looking for. And so we could keep some of these in mind as we put all this together. Okay. Which is linked from this issue here. Yeah, I've seen that. All right, good. Sorry, I'm still very slow. Uh, good. So it's <laughs> freaking COVID. This thing sucks. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, anyway. All right, good, good, good. We'll keep going. Is Kathy here? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, Kathy, I don't think is here, which was, but wasn't, um, I think Cameron was helping with this and Bunny, the, the use cases. Hey. Uh, yep. Yeah, I think you have been um, uh, sick last, last week, so uh, I'm coming back to this today. There is, yeah, everyone should there. This it, sucks. I feel like I, uh, yeah, I'm ashamed. Right, and that's fine. Look, the, if the if the status is like there is no status, that I'm fine with that. that. That's just how it goes sometimes. Um, Dan, your hand is still up. Do you have a new question, or is that the old hand? Awesome, thank you. It's <laughs> it's my only complaint about uh, uh, Zoom is it doesn't put your hand down when you start talking. That's like I hate Teams, but that's the one thing it does right. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Um, very good. Let's skip that one then for now. Okay. So, so wait, this is, we're in the wrong section. Some libraries, one page overview, SPOM use cases. All right. Oh, Kate, you have another one. Kate, you have too much stuff. We need to, we need to give this to other people. Um, so that we also had this, this one's actually quite full of comments. And the idea was to take these, these NTIA kind of crowdsourced documents and maybe turn them into something more palatable, we could mm -hmm. say. Yeah, and I've, I've had subsequent discussions with Ava and we're pretty much in line with you know, sort of the approach. So her, some of her you know, concerns were the fact that she was thinking it was, it was more than S-bombs and we were just talking S-bombs. So at this point, the material is sort of there um, and we want to try to get the landscape, some sort of landscape infrastructure going, but so need it, help on that. Is that our intent is landscape this? I think that's, everyone wants, everyone wants to look at the, um, from their pers specific perspective and having different filter criteria effective seems to be the best way of dealing with it. Okay. And landscapes will give us that. And for anyone who hasn't seen, there's a, uh, this one isn't, is this new? Did we just create this SPDX? Well, the SPDX community has been trying to sort of look at trying to put something like this together, okay. but it was also a question of let's not do this work five times. 
not standardized <laughs> on what information we want to capture for filtering. Yeah. And then the work the SPX community does can then be reused in a, a, a wider filter set. Well, would they, okay. Um, let me, so first of all, for anyone who doesn't know, this is what the landscape is. This is something the CNCF did. And like all of this data is driven out of GitHub. So mm -hmm. it's one of those things that once you put kind of some of this into a machine readable format, it's magic. And then you can obviously, you know, organize things and sort things and find things. And that's the intent right. behind this issue here. Now, and like I say, I, it'd be nice if we could put this under OpenSSF so it's not SPDX specific. Right, right. Okay. So here's, here's what I think might be the better way to, to think about this one, Kate, is rather than trying to do it with this group, because I think the intent isn't necessarily to make this group do things, but rather to create proposals and then see about funding it in some meaningful way. Because like part of it too is uh, if we have a landscape, it needs to be care and fed, right? It's not like a do this and run away and never touch it again. Agreed. And so I wonder if the right way for us to think about this is to draft a proposal we can bring to the OpenSSF governing board and TAC of, we want a landscape, this is what we want in it. You know, we can make up what we think it might cost or something or find some, some contractors who can give us an estimate, but then find someone to actually do the work to build the first landscape. And then we can discuss how to keep it alive in the future. Okay. Man, I love the idea of paying someone to do the landscape because I know over in SPDX, we've just had the darndest time getting uh, carving out moments of people's time to do that. So yeah, that would be an amazing task. It doesn't help that the landscapes are, um, they're not well documented how to set them up. And unfortunately, the person who created them has passed. So they're not around to ask and it does make things a little more difficult but heckin yes love that idea josh yeah I, I will note that once they're set up editing the yaml files to keep them up to date is usually not a big deal but yeah. i do understand though there is a challenge of getting started <laughs> yeah and actually if we could if we're going to be contracting someone anyway that should be part of their contract for the good of the world please document this process yeah. yes seriously it is all on that one for me too okay <laughs> but it's so, all source read the code it's fine right yeah no <laughs> oh man i okay someday <laughs> someday we'll all sit down with drinks and i can tell you all about my self-documenting code horror stories i have awesome. we, we have all lived the dream. We all have a few of them at this point in time in our career. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway. so for, to make this move forward, next steps, Josh, do you and I want to sort of sit down and do a bit of a brainstorm next towards the end of the week or something like that? Or is um, there someone else who can do this? Why, why don't we try to do it in Slack and the issue? I, I really, I mean, okay. we can we can have a, an impromptu meeting sometime during the week. We can invite people to if you really want. But I, yeah, why don't we kind of, Think about how to how to put this together because I mean we have that one proposal you put together for the Python library so we, we should be able to steal a ton of that work and just munge it for this and then we can probably pull in Brian and David to help out a little bit too. Okay, then yeah, I, I just I don't I do better thinking and moving forward when I'm talking to someone. That's okay, all. and that's fine. It's, it's just a limitation of me. What is my calendar? My calendar is not too bad on Friday, actually. If you have some time okay. on Friday, we could have. Yeah, I think Friday. Friday's a quiet day for me too. So okay. let's just I put an hour together and put all the stuff into the GitHub. I've got no issue with that. It's just more along the lines of sure. Um, your ideas come when I talk. Yep, that's fine. I'm I'm a okay with that. Okay. Just <laughs> you're just gonna have to put up with me repeating myself over and over again. Which is which is a treat. All right, cool, good. That's nice. Uh, and I guess for what it's worth, just on that note, I I really oh Justin has a comment. It says uh, agenda item. You prefer to send the mailing list. Uh, yes, that is the mailing list address. Open SSF SIG S bomb. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So where were we? We just did the NTIA documents, which is about a landscape. Right, I was gonna say, anyone who, not anyone, 
I think one of the things I want us to keep in mind is part of the intent of all this is less about like whipping people to do work and more about like building proposals to fund work. And so I think that's something for all of us to keep in the back of our brains. Okay. Because I think a lot of the other working groups are about doing the work themselves. But I mean, it, it's just, it's a pain in the ass to get people to do the stuff. And this is important. So if we can, we're going to get someone else to do it. Uh, okay, scope and purpose. This one is huge. And did we put a link? Yes, Vicky put a link in for the Google Doc. So Brandon, you volunteered to maybe help with this one. I think Brandon's here, right? Did yeah, I I'm, okay. okay. Are you still willing to do that? Yeah, I, I can I can pick this one up. Okay, great. So I'm going to, can I assign you? Um, oh, I can, haha. -ha. I don't know how GitHub is like magic to me. I can't figure out how it adds people or not. <laughs> you you have to be either part of the organization or you have to have commented on the issue for your name to pop up there. Ah, that makes more yeah. sense. Interesting. All right, everyone make sure you're part of the organization so we can assign you work. <laughs> so I'll I'll kind of I'll I'll explain this one a little bit maybe then then for your your purposes. And we don't obviously nothing will come of this. We we created this issue you know, to more clearly define goals and purpose. And then Vicky links to this document, which we worked on a couple of weeks ago here, but there's, okay, link to the issue. And then there's the mobilization plan, which if no one, if, if anyone here hasn't read it, like you should look it over, it's very cool. And it covers all of the work streams, not just this one, we're obviously just one small one. And then the mission and scope were put together in the last meeting. None of this is written in stone. It's all like squishy. So if anyone has comments or ideas, feel free to kind of edit and go with it. And then the requirements here is where we started taking the mobilization text and putting it in here. And then we need to tease out what of these things we really excuse me, want to do what makes sense, what don't make sense. Cause you got to remember too, this mobilization document was written six months ago. So I guess kind of on that note, Brandon, I will just, let's not worry about this today. Read it over. If you have questions, add some comments, you know, let's work out of the GitHub issue in Slack as much as we can. And then we can kind of tackle this one at some point in the future. And, and thank you very much for taking this on. Question. Uh... Yep. I think one of the, the the purposes of the issue was to make it more consumable. Um, I I I'm not sure what exactly that means. We don't either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I just want to figure out whether whether that was that was. So I, I think I th my so from what I understand and and anyone who might disagree or, or have better ideas kind of you know, you know, correct me, but the mobilization plan text, if you look at it, it's not exactly obvious necessarily what, I mean, some of it makes sense and some of it, we've just been doing SBOM for a long time, so we know what it means. Um, the goals and purpose document is, yes, I will put a link in the chat. That is the one I'm looking at. And that links up to back to the issue at the top and the mobilization plan. But like, if you, if, a, if someone who isn't part of SBOM, I'd say Brandon reads this, I don't think they're necessarily going to understand what it means. And there's also certain text that doesn't always make sense, right? Like where we talk about, you know, SBOMs are ubiquitous in software distributions. Like, what does that even mean? Like, what, what are we trying to do? Or, or removing friction, what's the friction? It's, it was written very, very high level. And I think in order to turn it into work, we need to clarify some of those adjectives. I think a little bit more context, a bit more examples. Yeah, 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 exactly. And I mean, you know how these things also go. It's gonna be a lot of back and forth. <laughs> We're all highly opinionated people here. <laughs> totally understand. Josh, is this intended to cover like enterprise use cases? Like if you're a company that consumes thousands of downstream SBOMs and, and products and combines them into your own products and pushes SBOMs to your upstream consumers and, and that whole ecosystem? So, I mean, that's one of the questions for us to discuss. The intent of it originally was to heavily focus on open source projects 
But when we started this document we're looking at right now, there was a definite desire from the uh, attendees in that meeting to put some focus on the consumption side, which I think is what you're asking about. And so I'm not, I'm not opposed to it by any means of, of adding it as a, a topic. But I, I also think we need to weigh both both pieces of it, right? Because I think from the the initial mobilization document, the intent was to focus heavily on open source projects. And so I'm if we change direction, I think we a little bit we have to make sure we we make that very clear. Uh, Thomas. Yeah, sorry for jumping on late, but so I, I work on the uh, see one of the items on the list that I work on security profile in SPX3. That's what I work on. <laughs> I delete the security profile. Um, just on the consumption side, the, the problem is, is that consuming S bombs, apart from basically basic package information, uh, is still highly problematic. Uh, so generating is generally. Well, not solve problem. There are tons of gaps in there. Consuming S bombs is still very tricky, yes. so you lose a lot of information. Yes. So I'm working on basically in SPDX uh, on a project to combat to compare the various S -bomb, open source S -bomb tools and probably maybe some of the proprietary ones with the aim to uh, basically simply set if you, for instance, have a Maven project with a couple of dependencies. Make sure that eventually all of the open source tools and hopefully also the proprietary tools render those exactly the same in SPDX. So we need kind of a validation suite. So that no matter what tool you do, if the code, if it has a particular code situation, a particular POM file, it should be rendered exactly this way. And currently that's not the case. I love this idea. And I don't, I think it's slightly outside of the current scope. But I think what you're describing is going to be very important. Um, it, it, it's partially work on, on uh, it, it, again, I'm using it for multiple things. So I'm using it for the, the security stuff to, to test all of that stuff and, and, uh, and also the how, the how the inventory works and all the other stuff. So again, I'm trying to solve multiple problems basically with the same test. <laughs> so we have one test that we look at. Uh, and I also basically built uh, uh, our, our own tooling as well. So as I said, I represent a group of OSPOs that are working together on, 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 on basically an SBOM tooling uh, under Aleph. So can is so Thomas, my, my request for you, can you add a GitHub issue about this and we can track it and figure out how it should integrate with this group eventually? But I know like Brandon put a comment in the chat and I know like, like I've got uh, a colleague, Alex, on the call that, that's been doing some, some thinking in this space. I, I think this one's really interesting to people. And so I Is love the, the comparison thing? Yeah. All right, I'll follow, I'll follow an issue. It's still early days, but I got some stuff to work already. And I was that's scared awesome. about what certain, certain tools do, <laughs> how bad they are. <laughs> Yeah, well, in, in, right, this is important. And I think this is, I mean, this is something we talked about in the tooling working group a long time ago. And it was something I wanted to do initially was start creating like, like test suites for this stuff. Not to say like, this is the best tool, but rather just to say, these are the gaps. Because every tool is good at what something, but none of them are good at everything. Yep. So I love this. This is perfect. Yeah, so the idea in a nutshell is basically I'm, have a te test repo, I have GitHub action, basically every tool gets its own GitHub action and is executed basically every day. That's the idea basically. And I'm talking to some other people in Germany that the next step is they're like, oh, can we not make a website that automatically compares? So you can say, I care about this, what, which tool do I pick? Yeah. Um, but yep. yeah, it's, and it's I, still early days. I, so again, so I'm, Thomas, I'm, that um, I care about this, which tool do I pick is part of what we might try to do the landscape. So let's try to harmonize those rather than create these separate there. Perfect. Love it. Okay. Thank you. Energy. Um, sorry. Um, I, I also, before we move on, and this scrolls up my screen, I want to, um, um, Jean-Luc Baker has a question, the first timer for the group. So, I mean, welcome to the group, Jean-Luc. But you have the question about the guide to security tools. It, it, no, I, I don't think anyone's taking care of that anymore. So if you have like, you feel free to open issues, fork it, submit PRs. If if you want to take it on, like that's great. 
Okay. And we can Thank add you. that Thanks as a future welcome. topic. Yep. Yep. Cool. Good. All right. All right. I want to keep going because we're, we're running ourselves out of time here. Uh, okay. So we got scope and purpose. Brandon is going to take that over. Brandon. Oh, I think I spoke to him right. Uh, barriers to adoption. Tracy has that. I think I saw Tracy here. Maybe. Tracy, are you here? Maybe Tracy left. All right, that's fine. I, I'm talking to Tracy later in the weekend. Anyway. I'll bugger about it then. Um, so this one, I wanna, I wanna bring a couple of things up. And this, I, I don't. Again, I don't want to do this ourselves. I think we should pay someone. But one of the things that came up in this at one point was like, there's some examples of data that exists, like like um, Cyclone DX, not Cyclone DX. Um, yeah, Cyclone DX track some things through. Uh, uh, what is what is the name of their tool again, Kate? Um, you mean dependency track? That's dependency it. track, yeah, yeah. So they track some of this, and I I think this is one of those places again. I would like to find a way to collect data and do something with it. And like I know the Linux Foundation has uh, a data wing. I I don't know what the answer is to this. I think we need to hash it out. You know, like there's some comments in the issue. Uh, I would love to, again, have a proposal put together and have research done, like proper real research, not like stuff we make up. So it is, I think this is, again, one of those places where when we started this project, we thought that the tooling needed updating. But as we discussed it, everyone keeps talking about the consumption tooling being the, the barrier. Like, is it? I don't know. So anyway, if you have questions or comments, read the issue, throw them in there. I, 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 I do think cons while consumption is a problem, the generation is also a challenge. I, I, yeah, without consistent, a doubt. I mean, consistent generation is a problem, is a challenge, which is what you know Thomas is talking about with the test suite. Consumption is a problem. We've got lots of problems here. <laughs> Let's move forward. <laughs> anyway, so we got ninety nine problems, and SBOM is one of them. Stop complaining. Start contributing. Yes, that's right. I like that. Uh -huh. All right, cool. Okay, so that was that was our list. Um, I don't, we, we have, if we want, we could go look at this, uh, the, the document we started on, but I don't like, uh, does anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up in the meantime? Do you want to work on this document? I'm happy for us to all just escape because like goodness knows, I don't feel amazing. It's, it's kind of up to this group what we'd like to do. So I, I don't I think, know if, I'm sorry. Um, hi, this is Thanasis. Uh, I this is uh, my first time in the in this group as well. Uh, I believe I'm uh, with uh, Jeff Williams and Michael Fanning. We're from the Oasis Sarif PC group, where we have a, a different effort to formalize some of the findings for defects and so on. And uh, we're effectively a liaison for, and, and we, we join this group to to see if there is any uh, fruitful, you know, cross collaboration that we can. We can have, and maybe there are items that we can contribute to. Right. Uh, so we should expect like one of us to join regularly. Awesome. That's fantastic. Welcome in in Oasis. Your uh, what is the name of your data format again? I apologize for oh. It's oh, uh, it's Sarif. S A R I F. Thank you. That's it. Which is a really cool format. If not, if you you've not heard of it or seen it, go take a look. It's really cool. Um, can you drop a link to Oasis? Your your. I guess whatever you're getting yes. started places One in second. the notes, maybe. Cool. That's exciting. Good, good, good. And and actually, this reminds me as well. Vicky put a comment somewhere. Um, oh, here for a future meeting, folks get like an intro. I don't want to do a ton of intros in the meetings, and I also don't like putting people in the spot because I know a lot of people don't like that. But I would love to see us start doing intros on the mailing list or in Slack when when folks join. So. I will I will make a point to do this myself in the Slack channel later today. But if everyone else would like to do that, I think it'd be very cool. Um, actually, no, we shouldn't. Should we use Slack? Maybe I don't. So know. it just uh, in the do group, Josh. We do this basically. We ask every meeting if there's people in the chat of the meeting just put a one liner what they what who they are and what they work on. Oh, that nice. works really well. That's just a good idea. just in the chat. Boom. So like for every, you're saying every meeting, everyone puts a little intro in? 
every little impro most people have it copy pasted somewhere in their slack or channel and they, or they have a shortcut for it and uh, you just see boom, and it's just really easy when new people join the meeting they can instantly see who's who instead of having to go back to slack yeah i like that that's a good idea that's a really good idea i'm going to totally steal that thank you all right uh okay what do we have like 15 minutes um Oh, is the text part of the recording? Do they do that now? Did they? I don't remember. But anyway, that's cool. Yeah, you can you can grab it. Okay. Uh, all right. Good deal. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Thanos. Thanasis, sorry. Uh, does anyone have anything else? If not, I would very much like to just end this meeting early versus trying to go through this document because Brandon is going to look at it and then we can figure out how to maybe wrangle this together in, in the future. Um, uh, I like yes. that idea. There is a, sorry, there, there is a Slack channel for people to join. If you go to the, sorry, the SBOM Everywhere meeting notes at the very top, I'll paste the meeting notes in the chat. There's links to the various things. And one of them is the open SSF Slack that obviously mine is going to open. Oh, it didn't open, but you can join. And then there's the, the Stream9 SBOM Everywhere channel, which is where many of us hang out and then talk about stuff when there's stuff to talk about. And, and the mailing list. I really like mailing lists because obviously those are easier to search. All right, anything else anyone can think of? Any questions, any comments? All right, thank you all for tolerating me for the last 40 minutes. <laughs> I truly appreciate it. I should be better in two weeks. I think I'll be all right. So, all right, if, if nothing else, then I guess my only ask is in the next two weeks, look over the, excuse me, the issues we have, you know, identify anything that might stand out as, as questions we need to deal with or answer. And, We'll, we'll kind of go from there. And I guess Kate will we'll make sure we put a note about when Kate and I chat about um, putting together a proposal for the landscape into the Slack. So if anyone's around, you can hop on and, and, and join. But yeah, otherwise, thank you, everyone. This is it's getting there. A lot of work, but I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Uh, yeah. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.